At the start of 2021, we bought ourselves a camper van, but little did we know it was a scam and the van turned out to be a complete death trap. So we had it um, put in for a vehicle check today and they've told us that it should never have passed its MOT. Luckily, just one month later, we found the van of our dreams, which we spent the next few months converting from a standard T4 van to a fully functioning camper van. You may not know this about us, but we actually rent a place in the southeast of the UK so that we can be close to my dad's house, which is where we've done all of our camper van renovations. Once the van was done, we did a number of small trips around the UK, most recently a big trip to Scotland, but it's been all building up to this moment. This is going to be the first time we are going full time in our camper van without a return date. We went recently to Mallorca to do a little test run of what it's going to be like, but we are going overseas with the van. I couldn't be more excited. I feel like this has been a dream that we've had for such a long time and it's finally coming true. From the moment this channel started six years ago, we've been working towards being able to have the freedom to travel where we want, whenever we want. We have lived in Asia, working online, moving across Europe and the US, but we've always been tethered to a job on the internet. But about six months ago, we went full time on YouTube and this is the first time we're gonna be going out and enjoying and living the good old days <laughs> like we planned. It's funny because until recently, we actually were looking at a place to rent more longer term while we were here, but we thought, why have we built this life for ourselves if we're not going to go out there and actually enjoy it. So this is where we are now. The next few days are all about getting the van ready and moving out of where we are now. We have bought so many things. <laughs> We've got to go to Emma's dad's now and we have boxes beyond belief of things that we decided that we needed for this trip. We never seem to learn. We end up packing so much stuff. As if we weren't tight enough of space as it is, we've gone and got all this crap to fill the van up with. Um, to be fair, I think a lot of it is just packaging. And also some of it is gonna be space saving in itself. For example, this toilet is brilliant and it's been really good for stealth camping and having a loo in the van because you can't just go outside when you're in the middle of a city. However, on this trip, we're mostly gonna be in nature spots. So we thought we would go for something a bit more space saving. Well, basically we never use this. Yeah, very rarely have to use it because there are enough public toilets around. Um, so we're gonna downsize and we've gone for a couple of things. We've got ourselves a unisex portable urinal <laughs> for our emergencies. And we also, for even more emergencies, I really hope we don't have to use this. We've got ourselves a foldable collapsible toilet so it will act exactly as this one does but pack away nice and tightly so we don't actually have to use it often look how much space if you give me the toilet we can get rid of it now be That's gone it. giant toilet and look at all that storage look at it all so much space and look how tiny this is i love how little space this takes up we could just slide that around the corner and forget it exists yeah hopefully we hopefully. never see it again <laughs> something else that i am really happy that we've got is dehumidifiers they're basically cushions that absorb moisture so we had a video recently where we asked for your guys advice a lot of you said cat litter works really well we don't have a cat so we decided to get these instead you just plonk them on the dashboard and hopefully it will help with the condensa condensation oh it feels like a bean bag i guess it's it's probably for the beans <laughs> for the beans travel beans oh oops cool so we will have two of these 
hopefully that will help us with the condensation if not we'll have to try something else we are also having our winter tires fitted tomorrow and we are picking up some snow chains on the way over to europe we've even got ourselves a little shovel to get us out of any sticky situations oh wow this is the first shovel i've ever owned i feel very grown up right now <laughs> Also plenty of de-icer because we're going to need that where we're going. Yep, and it's obviously coming up to Christmas now, we're in December, and we thought we couldn't possibly go on a Christmas van trip without decorating it and making it look a bit festive in here. So we got ourselves a bunch of Christmas decorations, and I can't wait to get this looking festive in here. Our first bit of festive cheer for the van is going to be our new festive welcome mat <laughs> when we were in scotland i got so fed up with the floor getting all muddy now we have no excuse in two weeks this is going to do our little head in <laughs> <laughs> after christmas we're going to be reminded constantly of christmas i found it in a charity shop i couldn't say no i really want to get a personalized one that says beans in definitely and a little sign that says beans in or beans out for the window that would be good whenever we go on a hike beans out <laughs> yeah but then we might get robbed that's true beans always in although i don't think anybody walking past who doesn't know us <laughs> they're going to be like beans out what does that mean they probably think we're being filthy minded <laughs> get your beans out <laughs> <laughs> we sure do spend money on some crap. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas! First Christmas in the van. Maybe our last Christmas in the van, depending how it goes. Happy birthday to you. Why are you singing happy birthday? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You've been humming that. It's a Christmas song. <laughs> Unless you're singing happy birthday to Jesus. I have. That's exactly what I'm doing. Happy birthday, mate. <laughs> last but not least we got our first ever christmas bauble we've we've never bought a christmas bauble for ourselves before and we thought what better one to have than a camper van christmas bauble <laughs> it's so cute that will hang very proudly just over here i think that getting the van ready for a trip is one of the most exciting parts about going off on a trip it's like you have all this anticipation and excitement for what's to come and all this potential for what the trip could be and not really knowing what it's going to be like i just i feel so excited i feel that bubble in my tummy of when i get really excited for something i've got the bubble <laughs> that's just your belly <laughs> that was just that curry i had last night <laughs> this is like the worst part of packing packing clothes because i always have the feeling that i'm gonna forget stuff that i vitally need while i'm away on the plus side we we know it's winter so at least we know what season we're packing for we don't have to worry too much about that but on the downside winter is a very bulky season to pack for let me show you all jumpers <laughs> They take up so much space, but I do think we're gonna thank ourselves for taking them because we're gonna pretty much be living in these for the whole time. Generally, when we pack, I'm in charge of clothes and Al's in charge of the electronics. Yeah, That's how we work. <laughs> Tell us what's your favorite thing to pack and what's your least favorite thing to pack. My favorite thing is the food. We'll be getting to that tomorrow. <laughs> show you guys how satisfying this jumper cube is with how it fits in underneath the bed watch this it is literally the perfect size like it was made for our van yeah that is oddly satisfying <laughs> very satisfying i love it 
Now we usually have this space here for the toilet, but now we just have all free space. It's brilliant. So we're gonna put this underneath with any extra clothes that we have and put all of our t-shirts and smaller items in our little mini cupboard over here. This is the only time it will look tidy. Oh yeah, for sure. By the end of the first week, we'll just be shoving it in every crevice we possibly can because we can't be bothered to fold anything. And we'll be shocked as to why all of our clothes are crinkled. <laughs> we'll be thumbing it in there. <laughs> thumbing it in. <laughs> little random bit of information for you. I never actually fully attached this section of the top here because when the bed's pulled out completely and I think, damn it, I need a t-shirt and I don't want to be bothered to actually put the bed into seat mode, I can just sneak this off and access it from the top. <laughs> so really it looks like I've been lazy, but actually I had a plan all along. I think we're going to call it a night now because we have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. We're going to try and get an early night ready for an early start. <laughs> Are you still filming me? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> right, Beansters. First things first today is the most exciting part about getting ready for a trip and it's specifically this trip because we're going away for Christmas. We need to fill up our fridge with all kinds of Christmas goodies that we can't get outside of the UK. I wish I could capture what you're like without coffee. This is like rocket <laughs> fuel. <laughs> that is not the woman I've been knowing this morning. It's the most legalized drug possible. <laughs> We quickly realised there was no point in filling up the fridge just because once we get out of the country, the meats, the cheeses, the wines, they're going to be a lot cheaper and a lot tastier. So instead we went for things that we knew that we wouldn't be able to get outside the country and had to go for British Christmas snacks. <laughs> things like mince pies and twiglets. Copious amounts of twiglets. I saw how many you put in the trolley. So Emma went for one <laughs> stupidly. <laughs> <laughs> now I think this is a love-hate thing, right, Twiglet? Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm not a big fan. In the last video we mentioned the Christmas sandwich and I was shocked from the comments that it's only, it seems, British people that have Christmas sandwiches. So I'm interested, does anyone have Twiglets? <laughs> this has got to be a British thing. And they're basically like marmite crisps. You say that, I love marmite. They don't taste like marmite, they taste like burnt. <laughs> but ends things i'm also intrigued what is your favorite go-to christmas things whatever country you're in for example for me i never eat this any time of the year apart from at christmas cadbury's fingers lovely the same as like celebrations like that is christmas to me do you have them <laughs> outside the uk they must do they must I, do they're just mini chocolate bars and then there's things like mini cheddars yum they're good all year round but yeah. they have to be in a christmas tube at That's christmas so for some true. reason it's more satisfying from a tube than a bag and i assume cranberry sauce you can get everywhere but don't want to risk it just in case from mold wine cranberry sauce lovely and also stuffing that one i definitely don't want to risk not being able to have stuffing That's on true. christmas and every british person needs to travel with a backup bisto just in case for your gravy needs <laughs> This is what you don't always see, it's just usually waiting for Emma to finish chewing. All clips you've ever seen of Emma, she just finished eating just before. <laughs> <laughs> One of the final things we need to do is to go and get the winter wheels put on, just for safety. Very expensive. Yes, winter tyres are not cheap. Well, no tyres are cheap, to be honest. No. And we only recently had tyres put on when we went to Scotland, so... Yeah. Um, we just love spending money on tyres, basically. But after this, we'll have tyres for all seasons, at least. Yes, exactly, yeah. So, let's go spend some money. While we wait for the winter tyres, it is time for the final thing that we need to do, and that is the dreaded shoving, COVID test. <laughs> shoving things up our noses, basically. I mean, I've lost count of the amount of times we've had to do this, but I guess that's just the world we live in now. 
So it's been hard to get really excited for this trip, knowing that this is the final, the final step. The aim of the game here, for me at least, is to not sneeze more than three times. <laughs> it's almost guaranteed. See you on the other side. <coughs> <coughs> Why well, it takes you so much longer than me to do these because mm -hmm. you have to have time out to sneeze. Three sneezes exactly though. We now have to wait for 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm just thinking how anticlimactic it would be for this video if <laughs> we do have COVID. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. That would suck for a number of reasons. Let's hope that's not the case. <laughs> Now's the time where we pretend like we haven't been watching it. And oh, we've oh, got no COVID. That's nice. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> so now we have to take a photo and send it to the COVID people. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we are completely ready now for our one-way adventure for the first time in the van. I can't wait, I'm so excited, my stomach's doing flips at the moment, that's how <laughs> excited I am. Leave in the comments, where do you think we're going? Where do you think we're going and if you would like to know where we're going, come and follow us on Instagram because we'll be posting stories with our daily activities as we go. Also leave us a comment, what are your favourite Christmas treats and snacks to get you in the festive mood? And if you're feeling extra generous, Remember, you beans can buy a Beans Out hat. <laughs> we will leave a link down in the description for the hats as well as on our Instagram bio. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for future van content in wherever we might end up. And everyone together, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and Beans Out! <laughs> Spit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs>